Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 video, but this time around I'm gonna be building a library in The Sims 4 for my save file because honestly, it's been a very long time since I actually ever really done one per se because the last one that I did was a gym and then before that was a cafe. If you wanna go see those videos, I will link them down below in the description because I honestly have a hard time building them because one, they are just too much. Two, I don't see the personality in them, but also three, there's way too many requirements that I just cannot deal with and I don't wanna do. I mean, granted, I could build a basement and put all the requirements down there so your Sims could never use them or get to them and it'll be fine, but I wanna be able to utilize those objects without utilizing them if that makes any sense but nevertheless we got a community lot that's fully functional it's a two-story library it's in willow creek it's on that strip and i have to say i'm like very very excited about the save file because i don't want to rush through it in, even though i've been working it for like a year and a half because i'm slow as ever and i take forever to build anything in the sims but also i am a perfectionist and i kind of just don't like half males anyway so that's why it's gonna be forever to do them i want to be able to kind of revamp certain builds that i've done in the past and put them in the save file so i can get it done quicker but also adding an updated personality to them that my style of building has changed over the years that I find my old builds kind of ugly and they just don't fit the current thing that I want to do for the save. But Willow Creek is basically done. I have to build a museum, a park, and then also one more house. And then basically Willow Creek is completely done. But then I want to be able to release the save file, like part one of the save file with the base game worlds like Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and the New Crest. But Oasis Springs is the one world that I tend to neglect building in because I tend to forget to play in there. I've been looking at all of my old builds that I've done in the past, like a bunch of like mid-century modern builds that I desperately love and I need to do again at some point, putting them in that world and then renovating them to like be a little bit more different. But then I've also started to realize that sometimes all my builds don't have to be fully furnished. So I've been building like the shelves of the houses, but also putting in like ready to move in furniture, like the kitchen and the bathrooms and maybe like some starter furniture that a sim just moved in and are looking to add furniture in as they tend to live in that home for years to come who knows when that will be that is what i'm starting to do now because i find that more exciting because that way when you will play in the save file you have sims already moved in ready to move in furniture and then you can stylize that house or that room however you want and i think it's kind of smart that way personally for me for time reasons but also just the sake of storytelling for you or for me and as you all know, I'm a big, big, big fan for like storytelling. So anything that gives me a way to like add personality to a build or a sim, I will add a backstory. Best believe it, I will. I will do it. I will. But for this build, I have not talked about it at all. I built this on the stream a couple weeks ago. And if you want to go watch the VOD, I will link it down below to my VOD channel. I named this library called the Wrights Archive because after the Wright brothers who invented, you know, the flying machine or whatever it's called. I think my history is correct. They invented flying or whatever. I don't, I really don't know. I forget. History is not my strongest suit. You can ask Kayla. She has a history degree. She knows all the things. Either way, it's called the Wrights Archive, not after the Wright brothers, of course, but it's after one of the original founding families in Willow Creek for my save file that's around like six generations deep. Like I'm a person who will literally make a Sim family of like six to 10 generations, make them all, and then kill like half of them or like three fourths of the family because I find them not really suited for the, you know, the timeline and the era. And they're also like old and decrepit so they have to die in order for the new generation to kind of understand their history and everything. So I haven't created that family yet, but I do want to make a creative some video because I enjoy making them a lot. But I'm deciding to only showcase generation six mainly. And I'll kind of go into the game like I usually do for like my builds, like the real time tour. But I think what I'll do for that Pacific family, the right family is like make generation six and then showcase the other generations because <laughs> I'm going to put my my hard blood, sweat and tears into the save if it's the last thing I do. Cause I'm a person who likes to add a lot of family gameplay, dramatic gameplay, just random stuff that make no sense, but still have a sense of like excitement to that. If you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But it's gonna definitely be a lot of fun to try out new things that I haven't done before. So I'm very excited about that. But Gregory Wright was the original founding member of Willow Creek from like the late 17, early 1800, like century. They founded this library, built it from the ground up with their own bare hands 
but then over time as things you know as things happen stuff starts to break but also people come in people come out renovations happen stuff like that so it's been renovated over time, but not to the point where you can't recognize the building anymore. I definitely kind of try my best to keep some historical aspects to this build, mainly for like the desks and the computers, but also some curtains that have been around here since like the 1900s. And I also think I added in like a brand new area because upstairs there's a second floor with more books and more bookshelves that I added in a like a little private quiet room. And I don't know if you have this where you live or not but where i live my library my local library they have like this one section on the second floor that's literally completely closed off but you can see through it it's all glass all glass everything with like books inside but there's like this row a row of desks along the wall they can sit with like electrical outlets and stuff to charge your laptop, your phone or whatever. But it's so quiet in there that I used to go in there all the time when I was in high school to go study, lack thereof. But also go in there like during finals week or whatever, if I wanted to just have a nice relaxing day or just some, some quiet, I went up there and just did whatever. And now I wanted to kind of put that into this build because I thought it made sense. And I forgot to mention this entire build is completely base game. So you don't really need any other packs to like play with this build. It's already up on the gallery if you want to download it now. What I'm doing right now actually is that I'm adding in a, a place where your sims can go grab drinks or snacks or whatever they want to do and grab that there and make some stuff so I only had a refrigerator but I don't know I added in a microwave or any kind I just know I added in counter space and a refrigerator and that's basically it so if your sims need to store some stuff in there they can probably if they need to do extra stuff they can oh okay I added in a dishwasher because your sims be dirty and forget to clean the dishes but it also added in a coffee machine. Around Strangeville came out, I found out that we had librarians. Like I didn't know we had like NPC librarians in the game. So I'm assuming that at one point the game will auto generate one. And then you have like a local librarian that I think at some point when I play my save file, like before I like upload for everyone to like play in, I think what I'll probably do is not make my own custom librarian, of course, but I'll wait until one spawns, stylize them correctly. Cause sometimes be looking like a joke on a Sunday afternoon with some random outfits, but I want to run I want to like stylize them differently and make them look fancy, cool and all that stuff. But I don't know. I'm just like so excited all over, all over again, because I'm moving literally into Two weeks and I haven't recorded a video in like a week and a half. If you haven't noticed these past videos I've been uploading lately, these past like five, six days have all been pre-recorded. And so I haven't really had time to sit down and like talk in front of a camera in a long time. And I'm just like, how do I talk in front of a camera again with like face cam and everything? Of course I'll become awkward once more, maybe like very like timid and shy. I'm like, mm. don't look at me. But then like thinking to myself, I should be fine. I don't know, but we'll have to see. I'm going to be uploading a vlog on my second channel called Hello Spring. And I have a few vlogs that I'm editing right now. Like I did a vacation vlog and I have like another vlog coming too. Well, it's not really a vlog. It's more like a house hunting type of sit down video explaining like my thoughts thoughts and opinions and the pricing and everything like my decisions and all that stuff so I was like okay I gotta make the script but I just have vlogs coming and I'm just very excited so if you're gonna go subscribe I will link that channel down below as well I added in all the historical old-timey computers like I was going to add in the typewriter that we got from Cottage Living in every single like on every single desk in this library but I'm like if I'm going to use Cottage Living I have to use all the other objects in that pack and I know not everyone has all the packs, so I'm like, I'm gonna limit myself a lot with all my builds and try and not use a bunch of the same or like one object from one pack and that's basically it. I wanted to keep this like library very, very simple and not too overly cluttered, but still keeping that historical aspect to it. I wish though in basing we had more historical paintings because I mean, the ones that we have now are cool, but I want to definitely try my best to not use as too many objects because I think simple is a little bit better because when you go simple, it, it explains a lot. And when you go too big, it's like, that's too much. We can't, we don't understand it. So simple is better. And you know what I just realized? I should have changed the color of the bookcases. I will, you know, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to change the color of the bookcases when I upload my save file, part one of my save files, so you have like new stuff in there. Cause I'm thinking over time, who knows whenever this will be finished, but I think in time, in theory, there will be more base game updates and more base game objects that I could add into this build that make it look a little bit more unique and more exciting. 
So I think over time, I will end up adding new objects to my base game only builds with the new stuff we have gotten from base game. So that I'm looking forward to. And honestly, I'm just like, what just happened? Like recently, I, I literally cannot believe it. They confirmed that Spa Day is actually getting a refresh or a free Spa Day update with new stuff like manicures and nails. And like, it's going to be so exciting for Spa Day. Like the more I talk about it, the more excited I'm getting. So I kind of want to make a spa next at some point, but make a smaller spa, like a small, medium and large spa center. That's what I definitely want to do at some point one day. But let's go ahead and hop into the real time so tour. Honestly, at the end of the day, based on the backstory I had for my founding family, the Wrights family, who were kind of technically here during the 1800s and built this library from the ground up with their own two hands and kept it in the family for so long that it just made sense to make it very historical with an updated look as time progressed on with new things happening, technology, etc, etc. But personally, I kind of want to build a museum in their name as well. Just trying to keep the few things in the family where they have put their sample of approval on like the library, the museum I'm going to build one day, the park, such like that. But overall, this whole library was so much fun to build because based on the interior, I use all these bookshelves in every single nook and cranny that you can think of down in the first floor, the second floor. But one key thing that I kept in place was using these old timey computer processors in every single like desk that you have in the library besides these right here near the bookcases. Just because if you have Discover University or you just have children in general or teens or whoever who are wanting to have an updated like, you know, computer to go to for like graphics or writing books or sending messages to their friends across town, you know, stuff like that. So I wanted to keep that type of like modernism with the computers. Just only three of them, not all of them are modern, just these three down here. But there is actually an empty desk upstairs and also one right here, but still keeping that historical look with the, the lamp, the print above. But also what I love about this library is adding in like a quiet area. And I thought why not add a little personal touch to this library and add a small little corner of the library, adding in these two glass windows, a glass door, a desk and an old time computer. So your Sims can study, relax and just chill about their days. I didn't add too much clutter into this library because I know libraries don't really need a lot of clutter and it just didn't make any sense to like put that extra detail without being too, too, too much, but keeping it very simple, but still getting that personality based on the backstory. So you kind of get what I'm going here with this library, but the backyard is also a very small quaint area where you can go garden and also sit around here to talk about whatever, like gossip, local news, Bella Goth, the land grabs, you know, the people who all, you know, keep the, the town interesting every now and then. Mainly the Goss family and maybe the land grab family. One of the two. You never really know what you're going to get, but you know you're going to get drama either way. But I did add in some gender neutral bathrooms and also some seating along the side of the library, a chess table and also a sign. And that's kind of basically it for the entire library. I didn't do too much with it because I know a library, you don't got to add too much, but it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I honestly had a, a lot of fun. But if you do want to download this lot off of the gallery, it's under the hashtag spring Sims or my orange ID, which is also spring Sims as well. Overall, I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always on what type of community lot I should do next and why. But that being said, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.